Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Satisfactory. It has been a little while. This guy is always stuck in my base now, but we just like to jump on his back and we go we go bouncing. But anyways, guys, yeah, it has been a little while. I just want to say sorry for that, but uh, yeah, these episodes take a long time to make and honestly, not a lot of people are watching them. So yeah, I had a little break and uh, I probably won't be making them very often, maybe once a month or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but we will find out. Uh, what I want to do today, though, guys, is get on making a computer factory. Now, I have no idea whether I have the right resources or anything like that to make that sort of uh, that sort of thing right now. This is currently what I use to make computers. So you need circuit boards, cables, plastic and screws. I think there is an alternative alternative uh, recipe, but I don't think I have it. So uh, yeah, we might not be able to use that. So uh, and circuit boards, they take copper sheets and plastic. Uh, what else do we need? We're going to need. I think you just use, yeah, use copper again to make that and plastic, copper, plastic, um, and iron we need by the looks of it. So yeah, copper, plastic, and iron is all we need to pump into this factory. So that is cool. Let's go check out down below because I, I don't honestly remember. I'm going to uh, get a lot of the buttons wrong and, and things because I haven't played for quite a while now. But I do think this game is really cool, guys. So if you enjoy this series, please go down, hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know if you uh, enjoy this uh, this series because uh, I want to keep it going. I just, uh, it's going to be a little slower. So uh yeah the scanner that is right i want to scan for copper because we should go make this near a copper thing i suppose okay there's one over there that's the one i use normally but there's one not too far away maybe we build it um just next to this one and bro be bring the copper from over there and then we can use the iron from this here because this thing oh this thing's apparently not running but this one is fully set up and ready to go and we don't even use it uh, for this one above so we could use it here we could use the iron because this is all iron right yeah okay cool so there was some coal over here somewhere um actually um <laughs> where was it oh no we're gonna have to scan again but it was in this direction somewhere i'm sure there okay so we can fly up here. I gotta remember that this jetpack runs out. It's not like my Minecraft one that I've got and I can just fly endlessly. It does run out for a little while. Okay, so here we have a big node. I wonder if this is pure, because this thing's pure. Obviously this bit's sticking out the ground. Let's get that out of the way. Normal. Okay. Is it just the one here? I don't know if that's going to be enough for us. Is there any other copper around here? Is that it? Hmm. How much copper can we get out of this thing? Let's 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 see. There might be some other copper around somewhere. But like maybe that is copper down there or something. Um. So mining. Let's go mine it. The second mine it. Oh my goodness, we don't have enough stuff. Of course we don't. Okay. So for instance, let's just put this down. This can pull out 120 per minute. And obviously we can times that by 200%. This can make 300 a minute. That seems like it might be enough. If it's not, obviously we'll have to uh, we'll have to switch it up. But uh, okay, that is a good start. What I'm going to do is figure out where the platforms and everything go because I want them to all work off the same grid here. So yes, we will need to build a path over from there. I mean, the, the, the factory is going to go over here somewhere, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter all that much. So it's found that one. Is there another one out in that direction? No, I don't think there is. But there is another one out there that we could bring over here if we have to. So I think that should be enough for this factory that I want to make. But um, yeah, making computers is going to be slow, I have a feeling. But, uh, okay, we need to get up here and get some building done. I'll be right back with you guys, and hopefully we'll have some sort of system in place. Alrighty, guys, so that is my copper mine down there. It's grabbing up all of the ore. That's going to bring it up here. Now, I've had to do some math. You have to do math if you want to get these uh, factories set up nicely. The sun is just rising on a beautiful new day. Uh, we are going to need smelters. Right, we're going to need seven smelters. Okay. Right, so we should place these right on the edge here, I think, starting here. I've made this big platform. 
And yeah, I think we should stick that right against the wall. Can we still stick a wall on there? Let's see if we can still stick a wall on there because I want to. No, we cannot. Okay. That, that's good to know. So now let's put a wall there. Put the door just for now so I know where to place this thing. Production smelter. There we go. Uh, this is the closest we can get right here. I want to click these as close to together as possible. So that's two, three, and let's stand back a bit. It's easier to build. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, there we go, seven. Okay, so that is how much um, of that we need. Let's uh, plug in a few more of these. Kind of made this quite close to the edge of my building. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we'll bring that over. We'll split it into seven different furnaces. There's going to be 300 copper we can get from there, but I think we only need 200. I think. Unless my brain's done some incorrect math maths. Okay, after, after those, we're going to need... Uh, 10 constructors, so yeah, I don't know why I put this wall here or why I put this here. Let's just build this out here because uh, I wonder how big a constructor is compared to this. Because we want to bring this out a bit. Do that, do that. This hopefully gives us enough space for now. Um, let's get the constructors. Now we need to give this enough room to split it into these constructors now. Uh, so if we give it a block in a bit, we should be all right to come out like here, right? Um, and then where's the middle on here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the middle one. We want to line it up perfectly with that one, right? There we go. And we bring it to the front of this. There we go. That should be good. That's enough space. I actually think I'm going to bring them back a bit. I think that's too much space. Is that better? Yeah, that line should be fine. I'll connect these up in just a second. So we're going to have to have 10 of these, which is just absolutely insane. I might have to do what I did on the other place and have them in a line with a gap in between them. That might have to happen, actually. So if this is the middle one, uh, one, two, three, four. If this is the middle one, we would have a gap here. We'll just place that in the middle for now so we can see where we're going. And now we can place this here. We want to line that up with that one. Which I think is right there. And that's as close to that as it can get, right? Those two are in the same spot. Looks pretty good to me, my friends. Okay, now we can place in these. So, we'll have five on each thing. Or just maybe four and six. That's probably the way we'll do it, actually. So we'll have four here. And then six on the other side. We might have to take some of the stuff around the back um, as well. Okay, but anyway, you get the idea. And then after that, we need five assemblers. And this is just to make enough circuit boards so that we can make five computers a minute, guys. Five computers a minute. Absolutely crazy, but it should all work out, hopefully, if I've done the math correctly. Then I need to move on to doing the math for the iron because we need screws. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need cables, which are made out of iron as well, I believe. And we need the plastic. Now the plastic is made somewhere else, so I might have to go and make the plastic making system a little better. And we're gonna have to find some elegant way of getting the plastic from there over to here as well, because uh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Also, power. We need power over here. This game's insane. Okay guys, we have some power set up. It goes all the way down to the miner. The miner is now mining. Mine, yep, yep. Those words all actually made sense, surprisingly. Right, we only need to put 30 into here a minute, so that means we can use the Mark 1 belts here. So if we, that is not a Mark 1 belt, my friend. That is, is that going in? Yes, it's going in, okay. Now, I built some of these things really close together, so I need to see if, they're all going to work on the other side because sometimes the belts just don't connect where you think they will. So let's connect all of these in. These seem to be working and they're nice and close. Okay, these should all be going now. Fantastic. And these belts all look connected. Stuff coming out of you. Stuff coming out of all of these. Uh, ah, yes, I, I, I haven't quite connected these up just yet. Let's get these. Let's just super duper connect these up with the super fast ones. 
this because I can. There we go. That should go over there. And I think the rest of them are all in. Now that should be bringing them along here and filling up these. Okay, so um, that thing down there is making 200. It's bringing up 200 at a time. This is making 30. These are making 30 a minute. And that seems to be going to all of these. Okay. I thought that there was going to be a problem with these being a little bit too close, but it seems to be working just nicely. Okay, fantastic. Um, ignore this. I could move these, but I've put them in now. Uh, we might move them later on, but for now, everything's working just fine. And that is fantastic. Okay, so we need to set up filling these ones and powering these ones and also getting the stuff out of here and into an area to be split into... Uh, five assemblers. Okay, looking at Chick's notes. Uh, I think it's five assemblers. Did I say something different before? I, I'm not sure. I might, need, I might need to just check my math real quick. But yeah, okay. If, as you can see, guys, all coming together nicely. All right, it's nuts. Look at all this pollution. Dairy me. Alrighty, this mess is coming together slowly, my friends. So these are... The, uh, what, what are these actually called again? Assembler, that's the one. Right, so we need to go to the assembler and go to circuit board. So we need the copper sheets that I've just made and the plastic. So the plastic's going to come along this one here, which I've just put up on these stackable, um, these stack, what are these called again as well? Come on, brain, you can do it. N hit number nine. A stackable conveyor pole, that's on. Uh, the stackable conveyor pole here, so that's going to come up here. Now I've put these up a level so that I can put this down here and then bring them up from down here. Hopefully that makes sense in my brain. If I put, um, what I wanna do basically is put a splitter in front of each one of these. So I'm gonna need five splitters, uh, five splitters, and I'm gonna put them in front of the left hand one here. Um, could I just put it straight here? No, I wanna have it down here, don't I? I'm talking rubbish. So there works. Okay, so we want it this is a splitter, so we want it to go in on the side that I'm on. Yeah, right there. Underneath here. Yeah, that, okay, that's it. So underneath these, and we want it to line up with that there. Okay, so that should be just perfect there. Should be able to do what I want to do with that. Uh, hang on. I need to make sure I'm aligning them with the right ones. So that one's going in. Which one is that going in? Okay, that last one is in, so now from there I think we can bring it along, and then if we get the lift, um, wait, how many a minute are we going to need in here? We're turning these up to do quite a bit more. They're doing 10 each, each one's doing 10, so if I go circuit board, I'm going to have to put these in here and move it to 10. This is going to be expensive, but I think it's the right way. There we go. Okay, so to 10 there, so we're going to need 30 and 15, yeah, that's fine. So we can place in the slow ones here. What I want to do, I want to see if we can connect that up there. Place this here. And if we turn around that way, it should go in there, right? Okay, that connects and that doesn't quite connect here. But we can just place that on there. And that is what I want to do with that. Okay, I think that's a pretty good solution, considering we have two inputs here, and they're all coming along at the same place. Now I just need to hook up some splitters on this line as well, and the plastic will need to be brought over here. We also need to power these things, which I haven't thought about yet. Um, I don't think I can fit any poles there, so they're going to have to get powered from around the back. But yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Okay, cool. Let's get the last of this in, my friends, and it should be looking cool on the circuit front. And that is one part of making computers. My goodness, what a ridiculous situation we're in. All right, it's test time, guys. We have the assemblers up here. I've actually changed the assemblers a bit. I've got two that are making 10, and then I've got two that are making 15. So then we have one less. Um, I think that's better. That is better for my brain and better for power. Actually, it might not be better for power, but it'll be better for uh, space and whatnot. Right, if we connect this back up, that should power the miner down below. It'll start bringing up the uh, copper. Craziness. Here we go. Okay, so there's no like super cool splitting system or anything like that. It just sort of uh, fills it all up. There should be in perfectly enough of everything to keep filling everything up. Like, yeah, it'll start filling these things up first before it gets anywhere near the end. Uh, but it does look like it's sort of splitting them quite evenly because this one down the end has got one already. So, you know, 
the splitters do a good job so they're uh, filling everything up that's nice we have a crazy amount of the ingots coming through now which should be going into all these machines and this should all be taking all the ingots uh okay not connected here for some reason uh are these ones not connected is this one backing up as well hang on hang on hang on get 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 off what are you doing Ah, oh, no. No, this one is taking them away. Oh, it's the sheets. What am I doing? What am I talking about, my friends? Okay, this should... Once it fills this one up, it will fill a different one up. It is taking them away. I was I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Oh, that's classic. Classic sticks. Looking at the wrong thing. Okay. So, we should be getting them coming over here now, and they should be going up here. And I'm wondering if they're getting into the machine or not. It looks like they are. Okay, these have all got power now. They don't have plastic, but it is bringing the copper sheets here, which is nice. We need 15 copper sheets per minute, and once everything is set up, I think this is all correct. I think I've done the math correctly, and everything should be coming up nicely. Okay, now we need to work on getting the plastic over here. Hmm. How are we going to do that nicely? I think we need a big transport tube going through the middle here. Um, I think maybe over here somewhere like here because we get a bunch of stuff from over there so if i build a transport tube we can do it something like this and then if we had these in the middle here we had one there and you have them right next to each other they sort of go into each other i don't really like that like that does that work i mean i suppose that works then you could have six lines running through these tubes because you could have one on the bottom and one on there and then let's say you put a wall on here get ourselves just an ordinary wall Put that there and there you'd have to go up again to cover this wouldn't you i've seen people make some really cool things here with like the pipes running underneath and stuff like that um hmm I don't know guys, I really don't know. Maybe we just have one line running. Take this out. And then just have three pipes running over here. I don't know, we probably want to bring more than just three things here though. Anyway, I'll sort out some sort of pipe design thing and, and bring as much over here as I can. It'd be cool, I reckon it'll be awesome. Okay, my friends, so the, uh, the plastic's coming from all the way over there. It makes its way here and I have uh, increased the amount of plastic that we are making over at the power plant so i'm gonna heck up there and interrupt my recording but that's okay uh right everything is ready to go i just need to power these up and actually oh this is all into here yeah these should all be fast enough because i don't think it's going to make these very quickly so if we power this all of this effort will be for to make uh well, how many are we making again? I've completely forgotten. This is going to be making 10 per minute. 10, 10, 15. I think we need to make 50. Yeah, we're making 50. Sorry, it's been a few days since I recorded uh, the last couple of clips. I had a few things to do. So, this should all be going on in now. This is insane. So, yeah, these two are making 15, I think. So, that's 30. And then, yeah, the 20. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, this is going to be coming in slowly. But it is coming in. And we are making circuit boards, so that is one more step closer to being able to make our computer factory here, which is nice. Hopefully next episode, guys, we'll get the computer factory underway, and then we won't have to worry about that anymore, because I think we're going to need a lot of computers to progress in the game, and I think this this factory should be good enough for us. This is more, this is the quickest I've ever made these, anyway, let's put it that way. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the very next episode.